What's going on everybody? I'm Josh Douglas. I'm hanging out down here in my Lance camper on a cold 30 degree South Florida morning, trying to get everything ready to go for the 2018 fishing season. And one of the biggest things that I got to do at the start of the season is update my Navionics cards. Uh, obviously my mapping is hugely important and with Navionics, they are literally doing daily updates to their map cards. It's real easy how you download these cards, uh, update them with new maps. I like to stay on top of it. Things change a lot and Navionics is on top of those changes. All right, the first thing I got to do is just take my Navionics card and slide it into my computer's card reader. Uh, all Navionics cards come updatable, both nautical chart and sonar chart. In my case, I'm running the Navionics Plus card, which works great for me. Being a national level fisherman, I'm traveling around the U.S. and I have limitless downloading, regionless downloading in all the United States and Canada. First thing that I have to do is I'm going to update my card. As you can see, my card here does not expire until January 26th of 2018. However, it's going to be a long season. I want to make sure to take advantage of all the daily updates that Navionics is bringing out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to renew my subscription for the year. And that'll make me accessible again for all season long. Now, of course, I could just download right now and fill this card up and then my card will expire on the 26th of, of 2018. Of course, everything I put on the card now is mine to keep. If I wanna to continue to download in the future, I'm gonna to have to go ahead and renew my subscription. So right here you can click, it says January 26th of 2018 and I can add time. I'm gonna click add time. And this is a Navionics Plus USA and Canada time. I'm gonna renew it. And I have options here, and I'm gonna go with USA and Canada. Hit continue. And you're gonna get a express your consent. Of course, I'm gonna approve that so I can move forward and save. And just like that, I now my expiration date up here in the upper right hand corner is January 26, 2019. So I have over a year of daily updates at my fingertips when these new maps come in and Navionics announces there's new maps and and changes to these maps, I can download them right away, make sure I'm getting the freshest data possible. All right, the first thing I like to do is purge my card. Uh, the, this is not necessary, but for me, I like to do it making sure that I'm re-downloading all my maps to make sure I have the freshest possible mapping that I can get. Uh, to purge the card, it's easy. You're just gonna hit that uh, garbage can icon. It'll say yes, and it's going to wipe the card clean. There's also some benefits of this depending on what unit you're running. In my case, I'm running a Lowrance Carbon, which has got an awesome processor on it, dual core processor even. Um, but some of the some of the more entry level units that are out there, or older units, don't quite have the sophisticated processors, and so it's nice to keep the card with minimal data on the card, and that'll help it be help your unit be a little bit faster while you're out on the water. I can zoom out and I'm good to start downloading. Everything's clean, I don't have any data downloaded on the card right now. I'm gonna go through and I'm not only gonna download all the lakes I'll be going to for the FLW Tour and the Bassmaster Opens, but also Lake Mille Lacs where I guide in Northern Minnesota and any other local hammer holes that I like to hit uh, on my free time. To do it, it works easy. You got a square right here that downloads. And I'm gonna show this real quick and then I'll show you the end result here. So what I'm gonna do is my first tournament here is Lake Okeechobee. I'll go down zero in on Lake Okeechobee zoom in I don't want a lot of extra data again I want to keep my card as clean as I possibly can may as well add in uh, Lake Estapoca there real close kind of fishes the same might be a decent one to go hit during some of my my downtime all right when I get here I'm going to download so I boxed it in now for me I'm going to want the sonar chart and the nautical charts you can also add in community edits but to make this a little bit faster video I'm just going to utilize nautical chart and sonar charts box it in click them both and hit start <laughs> Just like that, uh, Okeechobee is now done. You can see your card is now up to date and my nautical charts and my sonar charts are completed. We're not done yet. I'm gonna X out of here and I'm gonna go down here to add more and I'm gonna fill this card up. That's it, now it's time to go fishing.